Hey darlings, if you're interested in learning how I did my crochet braids, be sure to stick around. Okay, so my braids did not go straight back. Um, my braids on the side are going along the side. This is gonna preserve my edges because I have that thin, fine hair. And also for the top of my hair, I did the little small braids that connect into the larger braid. And the back is just bundled up. Um, I have long hair, so it's just bundled up any kind of way that I could put it. So I have the Femi brand here and I have it in a color 33. I have two packs of those and it looks like this. It really looks like a four. So my hair is going to be like this. And they only had two packs, whatever. So I end up getting the 1B33, which is darker, um, kind of mimics a two to me. So I'll be mixing that probably like closer to the front and throughout. Maybe I might use some of this 350 color just to add in there for like little highlights here and there. Now, what I did when I first got my hair is I put it on a palm rod and I see if it would curl and the hair does curl. That's the first thing you need to know. If your hair curls, if you're gonna be doing, um, if you're gonna be doing hairstyles that require like curls and all that, dipping in hot water, you need to see if it's gonna work. So all I did was take the hair, it comes like this, and I took it down the middle and I split it. Now if you cut it, it'll be a lot more easier, but um, when it's long, it is difficult because both of the ends are fairly like twisted at the ends kind of tight. That's what I do. Now this is long. But a trick that we used to do to get like braiding here and all that to get longer length. If you want it longer than like coming up to um, mid chest area, if you want it longer than that, you can take your two, split it in half, and then you take it closer to the ends, like this. See so here, both of the ends, and then you just overlay those two, and it gives you this extra length. So this would be like 28 inches. It's just a little trick. We used to do that back in the day. So now I'm going to show you how to crochet. First thing you need is your crochet needle and your hair. And this is what the crochet needle looks like that I have. You can buy them at the beauty supply store or Walmart, any fabric store you can buy them. But it is a dilemma of if it should be closed when you go through the braid or if it should be open when you go through the braid. And I'm going to show you right now, it really doesn't matter if it's closed or open. After sliding the hook through the hair, you're going to take your hair and put the loop onto the hook. Now once the hair is on the hook, you're going to pull the lash down, so you're going to close it before you pull it through your hair so it won't snug your hair. Okay, now you have the loop onto the other side. Then you're gonna pull the hair through the loop. If you're making a bunny ear, you're gonna pull the hair through the loop. And secure it. Some people are fine doing a crochet braid just like this, but I'm kind of old fashioned with doing crochet braids. I like to tie a knot. Um, I have saw people do some little twisty loop stuff. I'm not into all that. I just do it like this, make a knot, and I'm done. I'm gonna repeat the step with the hook closed so you can see it doesn't really matter because once you slide through, the hook opens itself.
I know you're wondering, how do I take these things out? It's very easy. You're just going to find a loop and pull up on a loop and just pull the whole thing out. Very easy, very simple. I'm going to show it to you again. All your hair should be going in the same direction, which makes it even easier. That's the actual length that you would get if you do not cut the hair. I mean, some of you guys can probably just cut this, trim this off, and you'll be stuck with that. But um, I went ahead and shaped it into the look that I want. Hey, guys. So it is the, hold on. I have my Erica plan because um the next morning i finished my hair last night i'm sorry i thought i was recording but <laughs> it didn't even record simple how to do crochet braids we've been doing crochet braids since um when we were little like i wore them all like i did the crinkle ones i did the um curly ones the straight ones like i did it all back in the day i was the hair braider i did everybody crochets everybody flat braids to the back, dookie braids. So, um, I know my way around, so I know how to do those things. But it's so easy, you just loop it through with the um, crochet needle and um, tie a knot. That's how I do it, I tie knots. Some people don't tie knots, but you know. I do how I know how to do it, you know. But when I tell y'all this, is my life <laughs> it didn't give me life this is my life like i am so in love with this i got to style it for you get it back how it was last night like i can't wait to play with it i think i'm going to do a styling video coming up next with a uh, twist out with the rods on the end i think i'm gonna try that first before i actually just rod my hair but going to sleep this is what i do i just put it in a uh, big two strand twist. Okay, y'all knew I was gonna go big. If I'm gonna, gonna do it, I'm gonna go big, I'm gonna go hard. Like, it's no denying. But what I noticed over here on this side is thicker because I split the hair in half and then I put it in. But over here I split it in threes and put it in. And I like this side more because it's not as heavy and it's, all, it's not as thick. So, that's my issue that I'm having right now. I did my little trimming and cutting and everything. And all I did was take the scissors and I just, ch -ch -ch -ch. I didn't like, I didn't cut. And these some, I don't even know what kind of scissors these is. I just picked some scissors up. Might be my eyebrow scissors. But I didn't cut, I just held it open and I did this. Like a little, mm -mm 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 -mm. cause I don't want that blunt look. I still want it to look like it's natural looking here. I am loving it, um, but yeah. And that's about it, guys. I think. Danger. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. And um, stay tuned for the styling video. I'll put a clip somewhere probably in here of how it looks once I style. I just want to show you guys this. My crochet braids in the color that I use. This is Molly hair. Y'all know I'm going to try all kind of different styles. I might not have it up for like two weeks. But um, I love it. And see my sides? I kind of like take care of my sides. Because they're very fine and thin, honey. I got to save those. But um, yeah. Until next time, dogs. I'll talk to you later. I love it so. Um. So what happened was, can y'all see me?